This video is going to show you how to set up traditional Chinese pinyin input from keyboard on Microsoft Windows 10 English environment. Go to Settings, Time, and Language. Now, Language on the left side. Add a language. Now we're going to find Chinese traditional Taiwan. So this one is Chinese traditional Taiwan. Select next. Install. It will take a few minutes to download and install. When it's finished, we are going to check to make sure we use pin in keyboard options. Going to here and we go to options. And then go key assignment. Here is a uh, Han Yu Ping Yin. So let's correct. When the setup is complete, let's give a try. On the bottom of your window screen, the bottom bar, you can see the language key here. If you click this one, you can see. Chinese traditional Taiwan. In my system, I also set up Chinese Simplify in my system. Okay, so going to try to give this one a uh, traditional one. And you see here is from English to Zhongwen to Zhongwen. Okay, let's try to type. Ni hao. Ni hao. You type ping in and here um, you need to type the tone mark like a first tone, second tone, or third tone. Now you see there is a dash line on the characters. You just hit enter when when those two characters are the ones you like to use. Okay. So the other thing is how do you switch to type to English? The easy way is use the shift key to toggle between Chinese and English. Now I press the shift key on my screen. Okay, then you will see this one change to English. Okay, see, I change, I press the shift key and this one become to um, English. Okay, I'm going to uh, press shift key again. And this one become Zhongwen. Okay. The other things is, um, let's to type. Let's try to type ma. Okay. Let's for example, this character is not the one I like to use. Then you can use the down arrow key on your keyboard and uh, find out 
it will give you all the selections. For example, I like to use I like to use number two ma. Then I press two and enter. Okay. Let's give another example. I'm going to uh, type ba. Okay. So this one is not one I like to use. Remember, you only can find out the selections if there is a dash line on the bottom of the character then I'm going to press down arrow key on my keyboard. Then I got all the selections. Okay, so I like to choose number two and enter. Okay, there's another way to change back to the English. As you go to here, press and, and choose the English here. Okay. Then, bye. That's the end.